G'day, Rob here. Welcome back to the channel. Just before we get going, if you're new to the channel, uh, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notice of uh, new videos as I upload them. Now today I just want to briefly talk about something that I'm, I'm constantly asked by people moving into the industry. How do I get to be a cinematographer on narrative film, on feature films uh, or television? And uh, there's a very simple answer to that and I'll be back with it in just a second. Okay, so how do you get to be a cinematographer on narrative film? Well, there's a, a few ways. Uh, first off, a lot of people go uh, think that you can just go straight into narrative film, and some people are lucky enough that they can they, they get a chance to do that. But for the bulk of us, uh, we, we don't have that opportunity, and so you've got to work your way up to it. So my advice for anyone who wants to be a DP and make a long-term career out of it, the way to do it and, and to go at it right from the start is to move into documentary film. Now I know everyone's going to say, well, I don't, want to, I, I don't want to be shooting documentaries. The fact is that documentaries give you the most incredible grounding in the craft of cinematography that you can possibly get. And the reason is because you're confronted with every possible situation that you could come up with and it teaches you how to be innovative, it teaches you how to be fast, it teaches you how to make the most use of your time, it teaches you lenses, it teaches you about the cameras, and, you, and, and, and it also teaches you about editing because while you're shooting documentaries, you've got to be thinking of how it's going to be cut together and how the editor is going to assemble everything. So, documentaries are the way to go. Now, uh, where you, you may say, well, you know, who does that? Well, I can tell you that pretty much every Australian, Asian, British and European cinematographer started his career off either shooting television news and moving into docos or shooting documentaries right off the bat. And I know from my point of view, I spent four years as uh, the senior news cameraman. I was actually a one-man news band at a small regional television station in Australia before moving into docos. And that was the best possible film school I could ever have because I learned all those things. I learned all the parameters of the television system, I learned all the parameters of the cameras that I was using and the lenses. And I understood how to edit because I had to edit my own footage so I had to be efficient in the way I did that, especially for news because we were shooting on film back in those days. Uh, now, you're not shooting film these days, but you still get that same basic grounding. So my advice is, and, and this applies even if you've been to film school, when you come out of film school, you still need that basic grounding in the craft. So my advice would be, come out of film school, jump straight into documentaries, and if you don't go to film school, do documentaries right off the bat, and you'll find that you'll be in a much better position to move into narrative film, and you'll have a much better uh, skill set moving into narrative film if you've got that solid documentary background behind you. And in a way, it's like an athlete building up a, a base before he starts doing his training up for, for a specific event. You've got to have that base, and documentaries definitely provide you with that base. So if you're new to the channel, as I said before, just click on the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you get notices when I upload new videos. And if you've got any comments, Pop them in the comment section down below. Any questions, uh, I'm happy to, happy to answer them. Let's get a bit of a narrative going on, on what you think about uh, moving into documentary before you move into narrative film. So once again, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you real soon.